Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be jumping into Sevtech Ages, a new mod pack by Darkosto and the Necron. Um, I don't know if you've heard of Dar Darkosto. He does do streams, and I had been kind of following his progression as he was uh, in the process of making this pack. Some very awesome stuff is in this pack, and I can't wait to bust it open and kind of see... Uh, what this whole pack is made of. I kind of left myself a little bit blind. I did watch like kind of the beginnings of this pack and I kind of been waiting for it. So man, I can't wait to hop in. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys. So whenever you do create your world, I recommend using um, Chosen Architect as your seed if you're wanting to follow along. Um, I'm actually lucky enough to um, have a name that translates very well into a seed and gives you a very nice spawn point. Um, so I recommend doing that. Also, if you guys are wondering what shaders I am using, I am of course using Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders. Um, I'm using the new version. It's 1.0. It's for 1.12. They have a big old pl uh, post. I'll have the link down below so you guys can follow that. Um, also, I want to say if you haven't subscribed already, I highly recommend doing that. Also, it, clicking the notification bell. That way you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a new video and I do post videos daily. So I highly recommend uh, doing that just in case you don't see it in your feed. Or something like that um, so you guys can stay updated of course also I have a I have a link down below to my discord if you guys want to hop on there and join the discussion we do talk a lot about everything so if you guys just want to hop on there and hang out I highly recommend doing so anyways let's get on with this so when we start out there's gonna be a few things we actually need to do it does tell us we need to use our achievement guide um, and that is uh, keybind to L um, I'm not sure if Z has anything keybind to it, but that's exactly what I'm going to change that to. If we go to controls, um, we can actually search L, go to key, and we can actually find what L is actually linked to. And of course, right here, advancements is that. So let's see what Z is linked to. Um, change mode for the better builders one. Let's change that to L. Why not? So advancements set to Z. That just makes it easier for me to open my advancement tab. Um, so I can see everything. Even whenever I have a quest book, I always set it to Z. It's just a uh, my finger, the way my hand set on my keyboard, it just feels so much better to do that. Um, yeah, our first thing we need to do is kind of, yeah, just get it. Fibrous diet? Yeah, let's take a look at this uh, right here. So welcome to SevTech Ages. To complete the, the uh, tutorial, oh, to complete the tutorial, complete the advancement, uh, the advancement to craft a um, work stump and move on to age zero. So... Technically, we're at age nothing right now, so we have no age. To get started, um, pull. Uh, uh, you'll need to collect plant fibers from breaking tall grass. Craft three together to get plant twine. And then, of course, um, flint won't drop from breaking gravel. Use the, uh, the grass fiber mesh in a crafting grid with gravel to obtain flint consistently. Pretty nice. Um, and then the flint progression. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have seen this mod before. Um, primal core it's very like the the start of primal core is always the same um it just seems like it's always that way uh from the past times i played with primal core so it's got a pretty simple like uh, minimalistic way of getting started um that really feels primal like it really does and that's exactly what we are we're like cavemen right now we have nothing going on um, we're pretty simple, but we do need to find some gravel and of course we need to, to gather some more of that mesh or more of that fiber the fibrous And also I'm collecting stones along the way. I'm sure they're gonna be used in crafting. They wouldn't be here if it wasn't the case um, Yeah, we just have to do all this and uh, let me guys let me know uh, down below uh, how you guys like the actually You know what? There's gonna be a bubble an annotation just at the top right hand corner. You'll see that exclamation point if you click that, there'll be a poll up there and you guys can let me know if you guys like the shaders or not. And uh, if this does look like something you would want to watch. Um, so yeah, I, this is Dark Hosto's pack. So I know there's dangerous stuff in here. So <laughs> I don't even want to bother with jumping into the water. That sounds like a bad time because I know there's piranhas. I know that mod's in here. Um, I looked at the mod list. And yeah, there's there's dangerous stuff lurking everywhere. I did try to figure out how to turn off the auto jump, like where it auto jumps. That's completely disabled. But the problem is, is I couldn't figure out how to disable it, even though it says it's disabled. So that might be a bug. 
I don't exactly know. Um, but yeah, that, that might be something I have to look into later on. But yeah, man, that's, this is what I like about this seed. It's so flat. So flat. Um, and so nice. Like, this is a perfect place to build right here. And we might end up calling it home later on. Who knows? Um, we also need to break some trees. Um, also, if you notice, we don't have a map. We don't have anything. Like, when it says we're Stone Age, we're, we're, we're before Zero Age, we have nothing. Um, so just keep that in mind that we really don't have anything. Um, we don't have a map. We don't have Walla. We don't have anything that helps us figure out what we're doing. So, yeah, that's <laughs> that's something else. Um, it is in the pack. You just have to unlock it. Um, so, yeah, that is something that we have to keep an eye out for. So I think we're getting pretty close. I think we can go ahead and start crafting a few things. So we can make plant twine. Uh, we're, we don't need very much of it. But let's go ahead and craft this guy, the grass fiber mesh. And of course, if you don't know how to craft something, you could always look and see what fiber mesh is made for. Or you can actually search it up in your, uh, your list here, and it tells you. So that's how you do it. So let's go ahead and take this. Well, let's get some flint. Bam. The problem is we need to figure out something hard to hit this flint on. And I don't think we have anything like hard nearby. We might have to go all the way back over here. That or we can break grass until we hit stone. I think that might be what we do. We might have to break grass till we hit stone. Yeah, we can do that. All right, there we go. So we can just hit this. You, uh, what you're going to do is left click. Left click. I think it's slower. If you hold it down, it doesn't work so well. So yeah, just get rid of all your flint. Eh, you don't need it for anything else. Um, yeah, we're, we're just going to leave that hole for now. We really don't have anything set up, so it's no big deal. But look, we can now get ourselves a flint hatchet. And look, I think we can actually take a look here at our, our advancements and see that it says uh, we've completed this uh, step. So, yeah. So now I'm guessing it opens up tools. So now what we need to do is craft a flint hatchet so I can cut down trees. What do you guys think? You think we should do that? You think cutting down trees is important? I think so. I think we should really get that stuff done as soon as possible. So there we go. Flint hatchet. Now we can actually cut down trees. We're also going to need a flint pick as well. Um, man, this aesthetically, I think this pack fits perfect with shaders. Man, does it look great. So there we go. We have that done. That's just your regular old whatever kind of tree this is. This is a special kind of tree. It's not a, your regular oak tree. I want to make sure to pick up those saplings over there. I think these are regular oak trees. Yeah. Looking mighty fine. Yeah, man, this just looks so pretty. I think it's going to be great whenever we start building and stuff in this pack. This is going to be one of those packs that uh, I have a feeling. I just have a feeling. That... Uh, it's it, we're, we're going to get a lot of stuff done as long as the mobs aren't too bad. Um, I really don't know how bad the uh, mobs are actually going to be in this. So that is a thing. Also, we do have ore excavator, but uh, of course, it is something that we have to unlock. So everything is gated behind stuff. So just keep that in mind that we do have stuff. Also, whenever you have something in your inventory that is not what you should have, uh, when you pick it up, it throws it out of your inventory. So. Just keep that in mind. And it also floods your chat. So using your uh, F3D is a good way to clear your chat. So that way you don't have to worry about it spamming. And you can get it off your screen quicker. So just in case you guys didn't know that, there you go. Uh, nice little tip. Okay, you'll also see here, this means your item is restricted. So keep that in mind. Also, it is getting dark. So yeah, we are going to have to hurry. Otherwise, I'm going to spend my night in a hole or in the top of a tree. <laughs> one or one or the other. Um, so yeah, we can make an axe. We can do all this stuff. Um, left click a bone on a block. We don't have a bone yet. So yeah, to turn it into sharp bone. So it'd be like a weapon. Um, punch trees hurts. Uh, you won't get wood from using that. So we got that done. Um, next, it says use a log. To craft a chopping block, place your log on a plank or log or plank on a chopping block and use the axe. Okay, that's how we get like regular wood. And then we move on into the crafting grid. Okay. 
So this makes our chopping block. I'm actually, I'm gonna set underneath the tree. I think it looks kind of nice over here. Pick all the fibers up. There we go. Yeah, we can do this. Um, it almost looks like grass is just like ready to grow. Like it's always growing. It, I think it is. <laughs> I could be completely wrong, but I really think it is. So we place that on there. And we hit it with uh, that a few times. And bam, that pops out. Actually, I think I might want to pull it away from the wall. Does this say we don't have, we still restricted? Maybe it's just regular wood? Just regular wood. Okay. So, what can this be used for? We should have now access to that crafting table. That is a drum. Oh, look at the little horse. Times four? Okay, uh, let's go back in here and let's see. Um, no crafting tables yet. Use the work stump instead to craft the items. Um, place them on the table in the correct pattern and use the crafting rock to right click the recipes into existence. Um, when you finish, uh, place the rock in at home or place the rock in its home at the front of the table. This is actually a really cool thing. I actually seen it in use. Um, what was it called again? Crafting stump. There it is. So it is a log of any type with the with this. Okay. So that and a log of any type. And we get ourselves a crafting stump. Oh boy. Guys, I think we unlock something. That was pretty awesome. Um, unfortunately, it is nighttime and we are gonna have to figure out some way to kind of block herself in because I have a feeling there's gonna be some bad guys coming soon. But man, we have the crafting stump now. And we can put the rock inside here and it holds it and whenever we wanna craft, we can do that. Perfect. So this is gonna be our crafting table, primal crafting table for right now. And there's really not much else we can do. Um, I'm gonna try my best to, uh, to gather some wood over the night and see what I can do. So it is my first night and I am feeling kind of scared. So I was looking at my, my book here and it says we can actually make a campfire. Ooh, I think that might be something we need to do. Um, so let's go ahead and add these two sticks together. And that'll give us something that uh, we can hold with both hands, right click a block and it sets a fire on the block you're looking at. It's only a one time use. I guess it gave us two. That's weird, it gave us two of them. Uh, maybe we get one as a bonus for completing the quest. I don't know. Um, I have been looking around making sure there is no bad guys um, that could kind of come our way and kind of throw us off. This is why I would really like there not to be an auto jump, um, as you can see. I, I did check my controls, I can look at them, I'll show you. Auto jump is, is removed. Um, it's set to off, but it's on. So, don't know. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and do this. Um, we can actually make a fire pit. So we need any kind of stone. We need uh, some of the fibers, which we can easily make that. There's a fiber. And we need to place this in this pattern, as you see there. And some stone. Okay, so we have to actually craft it in here. And how you do that is just as you see it. Just like that, that makes a fire pit. Let's get our stone. What was that? What is that? What is that? No! Oh man, the, his fire burst actually looks really crazy when it's not orange. Guys, I don't know what, what we're gonna do. We can't, we can't fight him. He's gonna kill us. See, this is why I really wanted to get that fire pit up as soon as possible. He's gonna, he's gonna kill me. There's, there's no way around this. I think the best way, the best strategy for defeating him is to run sideways, but he still has a very strong attack. Oh, we got him. Okay, so I guess stuff, he, I did see a bar above him. The shaders kind of make that hard to see, but oh well. 
All right, so what you do, you take your um, your crafting rock, and you hit it a couple times, and then you actually get the item you're looking for. And there we go. Okay, so now we have the fire pit. I'm going to set that down here. And let's get some light, because, yeah, I do not want more of those guys spawning. So, you hold it down, and it should light the fire you're looking at. Should light it on fire, I hope. Does look kind of funny with the shadow. <laughs> the sh my shadow does not look the best. How long do we have to do this for? Maybe a long time. Luckily, it's it's becoming daytime, which is good. I still want this block to be done. Come on. I don't know how long it takes. <laughs> oh man. I guess in real life, it does take a long time as well, so. We're getting somewhere. It'd be funny if it actually took a little bit of health away from you. Maybe I'm losing it. Maybe I, you don't have to do it this way. Hold in, uh, hold in both hands. Oh, it's not what I wanted to happen. I wanted this to fire up. Why will the uh, campfire not work? Will it not fire up? Um, use some rocks, twines, and sticks to make a fire pit. Typically, use fuel items and light the or use fuel items to light it in. Insert items to be cooked. Twine sticks to make a fire. Oh. So we can like feed it items. Oh, well that's nice to know. I guess the uh, the sticks, they do light stuff on fire. We're gonna have to use that for something else. Good, okay. Wow. At least it's becoming daytime and we can kind of do some other stuff. Oh, as you can see, it doesn't stay lit for very long. Hmm. Okay, that's okay. I think what we can actually do is now we have that available. It does say upgrade your fire pit when uh, when something a bit more. Uh, OK, the grill needs to be a heat source or the the grill needs a heat source below in such as fire pit. To properly cook. So a heat source below it's in such as below it, such as a fire pit, or a fire to properly cook. Okay, so we we might be able to make the grill? I don't know. Is that something we can make? Oh. I think, I think so. So we need to mine. So that means we actually need to make a pick. So let's take a look here. I think we can make a flint pickaxe. We can make a flint axe. We're gonna need all of these tools anyways. Okay, so. Just like that. And was it a piece of fiber? Might as well make a bunch of fiber because we're gonna need all of it. Like that, let's grab a rock. That is such a cool animation, guys. That's so cool. Okay, so we have that, and what else? That's a pick. Um, working for the weekend, I need to make a blade, and then we get into stone. I think the blade actually gives us more fibers and stuff. Correct? It is a little bit more flint heavy. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so yeah, this right here, yeah, it gives you double stuff. It changes things as well. Pretty cool, okay. So we'll keep that on us. I think the only other thing we need to make is what, a hatchet? 
Or we have a hatchet. Uh, we need an actual flint. A flint shovel would be nice. So let's make a shovel. I love how the sticks don't actually go on there perfectly every time. And the shovel had two of those, yeah. Perfect. And let's hit that with a rock. That is so good. <laughs> so good. Okay. So yeah, now we have some crafting stuff going on. I'm going to plant some oak trees. We always need some trees. I'm glad on this pack you don't have to manually pick up the stuff. That is something that is very nice. Because manually picking up the stuff is not the funnest thing in the world. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the, the pack that you had to do that in, but man. Yeah, let's clear out some grass. We don't need all this grass hanging around. Perfect. We already need those rocks. As you can see, those rocks do make a huge difference. Um, I don't know if it was, was it exactly diorite that we needed, or did it matter? Did it matter on the grill? It has to be some kind of stone. Actual stone. I want to see, how do you actually get stone? Because that is something I didn't see, unless you cook... I'm guessing you have to cook, um... Well, I'm, I'm sure you don't cook it on a grill. I think you can cook it on here? I don't know, we're gonna mine and we're gonna see what we can find. We should be able to gather some cobblestone pretty quick. Look at that, we're already getting cobblestone, guys. Ah, so refreshing. All right, so I actually need to make a, a kiln, and I need clay to be able to do that. So, I'm gonna go here. I think this is salt, so it's not something I actually need. I'm looking for clay, and bam, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna need some clay. Gotta love the caustics on the water, that looks so good. Um, I guess while I'm down here, I could grab some more, more of the gravel. Why not? We are going to need it. And uh, items actually float up above water. So they actually come up so you don't have to actually stay in the water. Um, and it's funny because that's actually the new 1.13 mechanics. Items actually floating up into the water. Instead of floating to the bottom of the water. Yeah, that's kind of nice actually. Alright, so I think we can uh, mostly head back. I'm going to grab some of the sand here. I'm sure there's going to be some use for it later on, so why why not grab it? So it's night, and uh, yeah, I think we need to go ahead and get this kiln made. Um, I did spend some time uh, getting the rest of that stuff done. Also, the sheep sneaked up on me. Kind of just scared me there for a second. Yeah, I'm trying to keep this fire alive. It's, yeah, really hard, and uh, it just keeps going out on me. I think I'm going to try feeding it like all this wood. Oh no. Holy no. Like, no. Like, I can't even. Look at the animation on that guy. He has a he has a he has a bone. The way he walks, that is horrifying. And he's got armor, guys. Oh, we got bone. I think we can make uh we hit that on a hard surface. Okay, we hit that on a hard sur surface. Now I think we have a weapon, right? It does 1.6 damage. I think. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, it looks like we can actually use it to make tools and stuff. Right? It's used to make tools. Oh boy. And also, it's a weapon for right now. Because it does more damage. It almost use, does uh, two damage. Well, actually, my axe does two. I don't know. Okay, anyways, um, as we avoid zombies, because that was horrifying, <laughs> the anim I was not expecting the animations. Um, 
Okay, so let's get back into crafting this thing. So we needed clay, and we also need a cobblestone slab. So I guess the first thing I need to make is a cobblestone slab. I'm going to actually get my crafting tool. There we go. There's our cobblestone slabs. And then we need the clay. And we're going to go ahead and get this guy made. Ah, good. Put that back in its slot so we don't forget about it. And it looks like it's staying lit pretty good, actually. Okay. So this guy needs a fire underneath it. We don't have any blocks. I don't think we have any blocks that sustain fire for an extended period of time. But we do need to get a fire under this thing. Um, how do we do that? So we place this down. We open up the slot here. Get my dirt. Um, we'll get two sticks here. Okay, I guess we get we have one. Because we need one in our offhand as well. So just like that. So that's lit up. There we go. And now we can place cobblestone in here. Just like that. Okay. So, I don't know how long we have to leave this, but it's definitely doing its job, I think. Took how many? Two? I split that in half, so I think it took two cobblestone from us. Oh, the fire went out. Um, the fire went out on us. Okay, what block do we need to place under here to keep a fire lit? Is that something that we have to worry about? Forever fire. Low grade charcoal block is a great source of charcoal and can, uh, and you can light a fire on top of it that will never go out. Okay. Low grade charcoal. So a piece of wood in here. Oh, let's take this out. Let's just put wood in there. And then we're going to get our two sticks. Light another fire. And that should give us the item we need, hopefully. Hopefully we, we don't have to like keep it a lit. We are going to need to probably relight it later on anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get, get these guys ready. Huh. I, there, there it is. Guys. So, we can place this. As soon as I can break it. There we go. We place it in this hole. Sweet. And we should be able to light the fire, and it will stay there forever. Perfect. Oh boy. <laughs> this is really getting interesting. Okay. So there's our forever furnace. And uh, I, I didn't even see how many I have. Uh, how many it just took. But we have to get stone now. And there we go. That wasn't that bad at all. Perfect. So it only does one stone at a time. But we do need three. And we can also make uh, more of that charcoal. So I think having the charcoal underneath our grill is really going to help us out. That is going to be something that we're going to need to do. So I'm going to grab another piece of wood and place that there. Perfect. Wow. This is some really neat mechanics that uh, are nicely integrated with Primal Core. I'm pretty sure that these, these things, they're not Primal Core, are they? I don't think they are. Let's get another one of those because we're going to need it to go down here. I'm going to place one, one of those blocks down in the hole. I think that's far enough, right? The flame will be right here. The grill will be right here. I think. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I'll find out. Okay. So let's get that grill made. I know it's dark. But we, I'm pretty sure we can make the grill. So... Just like that. Regular stone. 
and rock. Oh, he's fast. Let's use your bone. Oh boy. We got him though. We got him. What he drop? Dropped a little bit of chest plate. I'll take that. No problem. May have uh, one. What? What is that? One durability left or something like that? I'll take it though. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Um, okay. So yeah, we almost have this. Kind of interrupted us. So let's go ahead and get this crafted. Okay. Bam! We just unlocked all of that stuff. Whatever that was. Okay, um, place this under here, so our flame needs source needs to be here. Let's place this block there. Get our two sticks. One in the offhand slot. There we go. So now we should be able to cook on there as well. And I think that's for like cooking meat and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. And uh, we might need to actually kill a sheep or something like that. So we got some mutton. We actually have some food now. I love how when you kill one, they all scatter. Don't leave. Stay, I want you guys. Oh yeah, there's a mod that does that. That like changes the uh, the way they react to you. Oh yeah. Wow. Man, look at that nice sunrise. This is so pretty. Um, that also adds to this whole experience. The only problem with shaders in mod packs is there's some like UIs that just they just don't like shaders. There's a cow. I'm sure we can kill a cow, right? Come on. Oh, don't you do it. Get over here. Did he give me nothing or did he give me hide? I think he gave me hide. I don't care. I'm taking them. Okay. So this has been uh, pretty good. Um, I think the only other... Oh, yeah, we got a cow belt. Okay. So we are getting a pretty full inventory. I still don't think we've unlocked everything yet. Uh, the bladder is like a bucket, right? Um, no buckets. Use a fluid bladder to craft with. Okay. Um, ooh, fish. Use your spear... For fish, tasty meal. Oh, I did see re like real fish in the uh, in the the water. Teach a man to farm. Learn the basic farming from a farming villager. Um, trade by trading for farmland. Um, farmland cannot be tilled by a hoe in age zero. You will need to craft and place it near water. Wow, that's very interesting. But this, I'm pretty sure, can be placed on a grill. Look at that. And we can actually grill meat. I don't know if we can cook it in there, but we can grill it. Like, there's one. It's done. Good, I can eat. Eat like a real person. Alright, so I did notice that I couldn't even get the tree chopped down because I really needed to make another flint um, axe. But I think I can actually make a regular axe with sticks and such, right? We don't have to use flint anymore. I think you can make a regular axe. Throw those away. I can. I can make just a regular axe. Get rid of the salt. Yeah, there we go. That's much nicer. So I'm able to gather up a lot of the wood. I don't know how much there is in this tree. This is actually a pretty decent tree. I'm sure there's something up there, maybe? Oh, no, perfect. So we kind of got lucky. Maybe there's only one or a couple more logs. Oh, that's a different tree. Oh, perfect. Uh, but we do need to make a chest, and there's a pretty easy chest to get in here. That doesn't really require much. So let's get to crafting it. Um, it's this guy, which is a part of your quest line here. You get your regular chest, and it also spans off into like different hoppers and stuff like that. Ooh, which is nice. So, this regular chest, it's kind of a pain to, to, to use, so don't get me wrong. You don't want to be using this forever. Because it is kind of a pain to use. I think it, it's also, also pretty easy to 
place this and then do that. Place. So having this in your offhand is actually pretty fast. As you can see. So making regular wood is not too bad. Um, so yeah, that's what we need. We need some regular wood. Let's go ahead and throw that again away. Um, and yeah, we're going to craft a basic, super basic chest. What is on there? What, what, what is on my crafting table? Oh, I don't think it matters what's on it. I need, I need a, a rock. That's what's a matter. There we go. Place one little random rock. It looks so funny. Um, and then get rid of olives because who needs olives? And there we go. So now we have a chest we can kind of store some stuff in. And this thing doesn't hold too much, but it does hold some, some stuff. So stuff that you really don't want to hold all the time, you can kind of throw in there. Marble, like, I don't need that. Um, rotten flesh, stuff that we can kind of throw in here as needed. Like slabs, block stuff. This random wood, which we don't need. Can store all kinds of stuff in here. Um, and it's kind of a, a, a nice way of, of storing stuff, so. There we go, we can always keep some fiber in here. And there we go, we have an open inventory again. How did we get chickens? I have no idea, I don't remember ch killing any chickens. Um... Yeah, looking, looking pretty good. So I think we've done a pretty good job this episode. I think today was uh, fairly good. I think next episode we're going to work on building a small starter house. And uh, getting that done. I think I think we have a lot ahead of us. And I hope you guys are enjoying this new series. Um, if you are, of course, give this video a thumbs up. Also, like I said, check that link up in the top, uh, top right-hand corner. You'll see an exclamation point. Uh, make sure to click that, and there is a poll there to let me know if you guys are enjoying the shaders. If not, I'll, I'll remove them, uh, depending on what the votes uh, get cast, but um, I'm hoping you guys enjoy them. Anyways, uh, like I said, also, uh, at the beginning of the episode, I mentioned a Discord. If you guys uh, want to hop on and join the conversation, it's a great place to do that. Also, with the Discord, I do have a Patreon, so if you guys want to check that out, you also get uh, awesome Discord perks and such like that. You get some nice little rankings and things like that, uh, which are always helpful. And uh, always being a Patreon supporter is very helpful for me. Um, I'm a uh, starting content creator. I'm not making like any money hardly uh, from YouTube. So uh, having a Patreon really helps. That lets you guys be able to support me. And uh, it's very appreciated. Um, any support that I can possibly get to uh, continue making videos because uh, I do spend a lot of time making these things so anyways like i said if you guys enjoyed this episode please really click that subscribe button if you haven't already and also give this video a thumbs up i really appreciate it you guys are awesome and as always thanks for watching Let's go.